A fist glanced off the side of my chin, and I reflexively swung back. I shan't say I meant to clock the guy right on the nose, but then I'd walked right into this fight. Literally. Blood streaked down the guy's chin while he kept swinging, swearing a mile a minute while he was at it. I managed to dodge another fist and slip out of the midst of the scuffle. It was in the wee hours of the morning, and I'd meant to just skip out of the bar where I'd gone with a few mates from my football team. I hadn't been paying much attention, and truth be told, I was a tad sloshed from a few too many beers. I wasn't prone to drink much as a rule, so when I did, I tended to get fuzzy, fast. Hence, I'd been making my way outside, and didn't even notice the guys in the middle of a heated argument. A quick scan around, and I deduced I'd slipped my way clear. Last thing I wanted was Coach to find out I'd stumbled into a fight, so I headed outside into the rainy Seattle darkness. I tugged the hood from my jacket up, and turned to walk to my flat when I heard my name. Ethan Walsh? I turned back to see a police officer standing beside one of the bartenders. Oh, bloody hell. I nodded politely. Yes, sir. I might have just accidentally punched someone, but I had manners. Fat lot of good they did me. Before I knew it, I'd been bundled into the officer's car and watched while another officer stuffed the two guys whose fight it had actually been into another car. The officer, who seemed to be in charge of me, was friendly enough. Mr. Walsh, as far as I understand, you happen to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Problem is, the guy you hit is pretty upset about the whole thing, and drunk to boot, so he's not listening to reason. We'll get to the station and sort this out. There were plenty of witnesses who report you walked right through and took one on the jaw first.